Hold the freaking door. Hold on. Why the hell does it look like that? Hmm. How does this look? I look like I'm sweaty and I just got back from the gym, but like my hair is just up and I just have moisturizer on. And I, <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna look cute by the end of this, hopefully. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you? How's your day going? How's your week going? How's your Valentine's Day? Nice to see ya. Anyways, um, so a while ago there was a trend on YouTube that was like Zodiac picks my makeup challenge and people would use whatever Zodiac that they had or that they were and um, there's a color chart for every or like a color like panel, what the fuck is it called? Like a color selection. I'll show you guys a picture <laughs> for each Zodiac placement. So people would do makeup looks inspired by the colors that were on that chart. But I saw a lot of people doing this and only doing their sun signs, so I thought to make it like more challenging and like more colors and like incorporate it into like my lipstick too, I would do my sun, moon, and rising. Um, I have a couple ideas in mind, but honestly, the colors of my sun, moon, sun, moon, moon, yep. But honestly, the colors of my sun, moon, and rising don't, I don't know how they're going to look together. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Astrology is really interesting to me, but I honestly do not know much about it at all. Like, I wish that I could learn more, but, like, I don't know if my brain is, like, capable of learning things anymore. Like, I think that it was, like, I stopped being capable to learn about things, like, um, 18. <laughs> Like, I feel like I don't understand anything it just goes in and out. But yeah, um, I understand a little bit of astrology, but if you're an astrologer and you're like really good with this stuff, then you can help me in the comments below. But I'm gonna explain what I think, what I think that I know about my sun, moon, and rising, and then do the color panel color scheme. What the fuck is it called? Before we get started, we're gonna get into the sponsor of today's video. Before I put my whole face on, hopefully it looks good, but we're gonna get into the sponsor of today's video, so give me one second. The sponsor of today's video is Scentbird. If you don't know what Scentbird is, it's a monthly subscription of designer or any type of fragrances. Um, it's a monthly subscription that you can order like the, it's bigger than a sample. I'm gonna show you guys. But um, you can pick which one you get every single month, um, which is super freaking cool because um, designer perfumes are expensive, designer colognes are expensive and um i don't like spending money i really don't i don't like spending a lot of money especially on things like that so it's like this website really gives you the chance to like try a bunch of designer perfumes and it's a 30 day supply the one that you get so you'll have it every single month so yeah let's get into that Scentbird has over 600 brands. Um, they have brands like Prada, Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, and you can choose between which one that you would get every single month. You can upgrade your subscription to get two or three. Okay, so pretty much, they come in these cute little vials like this. A vial, is that what it's called? <laughs> I don't know, but you pretty much open it like this, like a little twist. This is Gucci. This is um, Bloom by Gucci. Don't get me like, if I say things wrong, like don't even freaking come at me because I'm a broke bitch and I don't spend money on nothing. Mmm. Mm. I don't know about you guys, but I really love like floral, like pretty scents, sweet scents. Like either sweet or like floral. But I also like musky scents because I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> Gucci, <laughs> Gucci Bloom smells really florally. Like it smells super good. Like I don't know. It just makes me feel like pretty and dainty. You know what I mean? Next up, I had to get Daisy by Marc Jacobs. That just reminds me of middle school. I used to have this really rich friend and she had it, but I didn't have it. <laughs> Let's wear this one too. Frick it. Mmm. That literally just reminds me of middle school. <laughs> it smells so good. Oh my god. Oh, this just gives you the chance to try out designer perfumes or just like any perfumes that you've been wanting to try out for a good price and a good amount of perfume each month. Yeah, if you want to go to Scentbird's website and go ahead and get a monthly subscription, you can use my code right here and get 30% off your first order, which literally makes that your first order um, only $10. Okay? Only 10 bucks. 10, 10 buckaroonies and you can get a freaking designer perfume. How good is that? But yeah, okay. I love you guys. Back onto the video. If you guys didn't know, my son, like my main, well it's not main. A lot of people don't know, but like I feel like your sun sign is not a whole description of yourself. You really gotta go into your chart to find out much more. Like your sun does not describe you as a whole. Like it is who you are individually, but 
I don't know much about astrology, but just go more into depth in your chart. I promise it's going to be more accurate if it's just, if your sun sign doesn't seem very accurate to you, I promise the rest of it will sound accurate to you. My sun is in Sagittarius. Um, I'm a fire sign. I don't know if you could probably tell. Um, I never shut up. Um, I feel like I'm very fiery, but at the same time, I'm not. See, that's where the other signs come in. What does Nikki say? What the fuck does Nikki say? Something about being an optimist. I'm a Sagittarius, so you know I'm an optimist, some shit like that. Anyways, Nicki Minaj is a Sagittarius, and that, if you want any more description on Sagittarius, Nicki Minaj. There we go. <laughs> so I'm going off of this color palette. I'll put it on the screen. So for this one, it says Sagittarius is like pretty much dark colors. Like I'm seeing like purples, and which I don't like using on my eyes. I don't. Okay, so I feel like I'm going to incorporate some type of purple into my eyes. Oh, this is stressing me out. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and we're going to come back and we're going to focus on these eyes. I think that I'm going to incorporate two of my signs into my eyes and then use one of the color schemes for my lips. I feel like that'll work the best. Give me a second. My fiery sun sign. I'm going to read you guys some descriptions of me that I found on the internet. You know, I'm going to take what resonates. I'm going to say yes if that's me or no it's not me or maybe it is me but I just don't want to accept it. Bitch, don't be fucking with me like that. Not y'all, my fucking tripod, bitch. Let me get into the fucking video, gosh darn it. We're gonna use whatever fucking shade this is from James Charles, the dark blue in there. So yeah, um, when I first look up Sagittarius and Sun, it says bold, enthusiastic, and positive. We're known to be optimistic. We're also known to be really hard to tie down in relationships and like better off alone. But like, that's not me. Like, I just want to be loved. But that, I have a Scorpio Venus and love or something has to do with your Venus. And Scorpios are, are possessive and scary. So I think that's where that comes from. You have strong thought through ideas about meaning what's right and wrong. I think so. Interested in pushing the boundaries of the existent and you live to be free and to learn. I think I agree with that. This is going to be a dark ass look. We're doing one eye on camera because we're going to figure this shit out together. I'm starting to feel in my soul that this was a bad idea. I think the night, I think we're going to incorporate the purple like right here in that freaking color chart. There's purple. And blue. We're going with the purple from the James Charles palette. That one right there. Okay. Can you guys see what's going on? Added purple though. We did it. Okay, now we're gonna try to incorporate my Gemini moon. I think I did a good job of getting those Sagittarius colors in there. Look at the Sagittarius colors and look at my eye. I think I did a good job. Okay, the Gemini colors are giving me, I mean, we could we could just say fuck you and um, not do those yellows. It looks like there's a lot of yellows, but if I wanna take the easy way out, way out, I could do one of those bluish purplish colors. Hey guys, we're taking the easy way out. I'm so sorry, but we're gonna go in with like, should we go in with like a lavender and keep the, the, the lavender that's right in the middle of Gemini? Yeah, we're doing that. This shade from Take Me Back to Brazil, okay? This is how we're incorporating that freaking Gemini color. Sh we can, okay, I'm not gonna be a freaking lazy ass. I'll, I'll incorporate another one of the Gemini colors, okay? Mm, let me just explain my moon and Gemini really quick though. Your moon is your emotions. It's like how you feel, yeah. And Geminis are playful, expressive, and curious. It's an air sign, by the way. You're in Gemini, meaning your emotional self is often restless and unsettled. You're extremely adaptable, which sometimes makes you feel pulled into too many directions. Mm-hmm. You are easily bored. Mm-hmm. It's saying that I'm constantly in a need of being creative, and I'm constantly in an identity Bitch! And an identity crisis. And I also have borderline personality disorder, so you know what? Um, who, who the fuck am I? I have no idea who I am. <laughs> That's okay, but that's my moon in Gemini. That's my emotions. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna go do this on this eye. I don't even think I remember what I did. 
but I'm gonna go try to remember it. <laughs> I really gotta start planning things out before I do it because I just like jump into things and I don't plan it. Plan it. That's what astrology is, stars and planets, right? But um, before I finish the eyes, I need to finish my face. But my face has nothing to do with this video, so I'm gonna do my whole face off the camera. We're gonna come back and do the rest of the eyes and then we're gonna do the lips, which has to do with my rising, which is Capricorn. Okay, on right back and do everything. I'll leave it in the description what I'm using. Okay, bye. Um, I do my face, my whole face, like my whole like, you know. Um, and I started doing my freaking lower lash line, and I forgot that I was like I should have filmed that, but literally, excuse me. I'm wearing um a middle school PE shirt, but I didn't even go to this middle school. This is not even my shirt. It's my friend Anthony's. <laughs> and look at the difference between this. We're not talking about it. To incorporate more of the Gemini color palette, because all I did was like lavender, and that's like what's on my inner. I feel like I need more, because I feel like this just goes along with this Sagittarius more. So I need light night to do, and I really don't want to do a bright yellow in her corner because that's just gonna look so fucking bad it's okay i mean this doesn't need to look beautiful and not it doesn't have to look beautiful every time is this yellow from the take me back to brazil i think i'm gonna put down the anastasia primer just to make it more like, vivid yellow is so ugly with this like that's not gonna look right but whatever oh my god i'm scared oh maybe if i just keep telling myself that it's cute then i'll start thinking that it's cute this is so cute. I'm so proud of myself. It looks so good. Oh, wow. That's really ugly. <laughs> okay. What did I get myself into? I would never do this on my own. Like, I would never pick these colors. No. <laughs> if it's already this much... We might as well put on jewels, right? <laughs> I don't know. Should I add one on the top and just say F it? Once it's there, it's like it has to be there. No, Corey. Stop it. We're putting on eyelashes. That's enough. <laughs> that's, all. that's enough. We don't need to put anything down there. I do feel like an alien. I just think that I make things complicated on accident. It's never on purpose. This? Please, dear Jesus Lord. Somebody. Whoever. Let this make it look better. It smells like someone's cooking eggs. Did I already mention that my tattoo is probably looking fucked up right now, but it's because it's healing and it's peeling? So don't think that there's something wrong. It's okay. It'll look beautiful in the end when it's healed. <gasps> I didn't even ask you guys. Do you guys like my nails? I've had these nails. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a long time, I've probably had these nails 10 times. <laughs> like, I didn't know what to get. And I feel like whenever I don't know what to get, I just get this. I've had these nails a million quadrillion times. Now look at Capricorn. Here's the picture. It's all dark colors. All of them are dark. So I think that just means I just have to wear black lipstick. Like, that's just, like, the, the only option. Like, that's what needs to happen. So that's what's gonna happen. My Capricorn Rising. Let's explain to you a little bit about my Capricorn Rising. Are we still doing that? Are you guys interested in that? I'm not sure. Capricorn Rising is your persona. It's strategic, observant, and... I don't fucking know that word. I don't care. But it's, like, your rising is, like, your mask. Is what you present to people. Your persona. Your personality. Ascending in Capricorn meaning to come across as conservative, serious, and rational, perhaps even grave. Do I seem serious or rational? I don't think I do. <laughs> you seem to make decisions in a responsible, practical, and prudent way. Your ambitions may come off as opportunistic. I do not make good decisions, and I don't think about anything before I do it. And I never am responsible. I think I'm the opposite of that one, but black lipstick it is because that's what the color scheme is. I'm using this really gross palette, the Anastasia lip palette. The palette's not gross, it just looks gross. But this is has a black lipstick in it, so I'm going to use this black lipstick. It looks... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I look like Chucky's bride. 
on Halloween. Like, she's like, ooh, I'm gonna be an, an, an alien for Halloween. That's what Chucky's bride said. <laughs> okay, let me go fucking do my hair, put on a shirt, and like, bring this all together and come out and do my outro. But this? What the fuck do you guys think about it? <laughs> Here we are. Do my hair. And put on a shirt. Yeah. That was my birth chart picks my freaking makeup. It's weird because this looks very like, I don't know. I look very dark, but I feel like I'm not a very dark person. Or maybe I am being as so now. Ew, I just winked, that was weird. I probably could have just taken the easy way out and done what every other YouTuber did with this and only did their sun sign and then been able to make a, like a cute look out of it. But, you know, mixing all these colors together was really something. But yeah, um, I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Should we get a close up? Fucking nuts. Fucking bonkers. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>